Hello and welcome to this next tutorial in this series on learning how to use Blender for modeling and animating 3D objects. And this tutorial is going to introduce you to the interface and show you how to customize and save it. So Blender opens by default with five windows, all of which can be changed into any other type of window. And those five windows are the information bar, which is at the top of the screen, which includes the file, add, render, and help drop-down menus. Then the second thing is the main viewing window, which is the 3D view window, which includes the object tools panel on the left-hand side. The third window is the timeline window, which is at the bottom of the screen by default. Next, we have the outliner window at the top right, and finally, we have the Properties window beneath that on the right side of the screen. So you can change the size of any window by dragging its edge, whether the top, the bottom, the left, or the right. You can drag it left and right or any direction. And any window type can be changed into any other type of window by clicking the drop-down menu on the left of the window panel, then selecting which type of window you would like to appear in its place. So as you can see, when you click on the drop-down menu, you've got a list of all the different types of windows that you can choose. Each window panel can also be subdivided or merged in any direction by clicking and dragging the striped corner in the top right of the window panel. So in the 3D view window, press the letter T on your keyboard to remove the object tools panel. And you can always bring it back by pressing T again. So we're going to subdivide the 3D view window by dragging the striped corner left to split it in half, then dividing both of these windows down to create four different 3D view windows. So we're going to change the top left view now to front ortho or orthogonal by pressing uh, one on the keyboard, then five on the keypad or your keyboard number row if you don't have a number pad. And we're going to change the top right to side view orthogonal by pressing 3 on the number pad and then 5 to create uh, the, right, the side view ortho. And we're going to change the bottom right view to top ortho by pressing 7 and then 5 on the keypad. And finally, we leave the uh, we're going to leave the bottom left view panel as a 3D perspective view so we can see our object in 3D space. So this would be a typical 3D modeling setup, and it's very useful um, to see objects from different angles like this, especially if you're tracing an object from a particular perspective. So to merge windows, we can right-click on any dividing line and then select Join Area from the drop-down menu there. Or alternatively, you can grab the striped corner from one window and drag it into another one, and then select which window you want to be the one that's left behind. So next we're going to change the 3D view window into an outliner window. And then we're going to change the outliner window into a 3D view window. And we're going to select the camera view from the drop-down menu, or alternatively you can press 0 on your number pad. So this can be very useful, actually, if you want a preview of what the camera is seeing at all times. So Basically, when you render your animations, it's what the camera sees. So you can always have this preview up in the top right corner to give you an idea of what the animation is going to look like before you render it. If you make a mess of your interface, you can always reset it by choosing File and from the drop-down menu, Load Factory Settings. But just be aware, when you do this, you also lose any work that you've been doing. So make sure you save your file before you do it. Blender also comes with a number of interface layout presets. So when you start the program, it's set to default. But you can also change this to animation, compositing, or video editing layouts, for example. And there's other ones there too you can explore yourself. However, you may want to create your own layout and then store it for future use. So to do this, you can click on the plus sign in the info window in the screen layout type box. And then give your name, give your uh, new layout a unique name by clicking in the box and typing it in. 
So if you don't have a numpad, um, as I mentioned in the last tutorial, you can always emulate it by using the standard number row on your keyboard by clicking File, then User Preferences, and opening the Input tab, and then ticking the Emulate Numpad box. Very useful if you don't have a number keypad on your keyboard. So just to quickly run through the shortcuts for your different views as well, uh, one more time. If you press 1 on your number keypad, you'll get the front view. If you press 3 on your keypad, you'll get the side view. If you press 7, you'll get the top view. And if you press 5, you'll toggle between orthogonal and perspective views, depending on whichever view you're looking at. The other keys on your keypad do different things as well with your view. So if you press 2, it's going to rotate the view up or down, and 8, you can uh, rotate the view up and down in increments. And then if you press 4 and then 6, you can rotate the view left and right incrementally. So you can rotate your view uh, in increments, left and right or up and down. So this has been a short tutorial introducing the basics of the Blender user interface.